Hello, this is Jeff Summit, Technical Director for Hariko Golf. In this segment of our basic club making series, I want to show you how to measure club length and then cut to the proper length. Now, each manufacturer has a suggested length for both men and women based on their average heights and also the weights of their heads. There's no universal length for all manufacturers. That's why it's good to see uh, what the manufacturers suggest for each of their products. Since these are Hariko branded products, we're going to look at the reference chart in the back of our catalog. For men's graphite driver, we want 45 inches. And for the steel shafted wedge, it'd be 35 and a half inches. If the player is taller or shorter than normal, then those lengths may be, need to be adjusted. Now, let's start out with the driver and show you how to measure the club length first. You want to place the club on the ground with the center of the sole touching the ground. Next, take your 48 inch ruler and slide it or place it behind the uh, back edge of the heel along the back side of the shaft. Uh, we just want to make sure that the heel or toe is not uh, severely off the ground, otherwise that's going to affect your reading and you're not going to get your exact length that you want. Now there's jigs and fixtures to help you uh, make these measurements more accurate. Here you can see where the 45 inch is, but we need to account for the edge of the grip cap, which is an additional eighth of an inch. It's not detrimental if you miss this step, but if you do, you want to be consistent with all the other clubs that you're making. So I take my Sharpie pen and mark the shaft at 44 and 7 eighths inches. We want to place the shaft in a vinyl shaft clamp and then in our vise. And you want to leave just enough room uh, for it to, uh, so you can work safely. Don't clamp too tightly, otherwise you can crack the shaft too on the composite materials. You can take your rod saw blade and just follow on your mark. And we're ready to do the steel shaft. On the steel shaft, we're going to use the same technique we did on the uh, tip using our tubing cutter, where we go to the mark, tighten it, and then gradually increase the strength. And there we go. 